fans once more. There has been no separation between these two teams. You know, it's made for one heck of an entertaining game. Even when it hasn't been the best basketball being played, it sure has been fun to watch. We got to be more physical on defense. Well, he's making a switch here. Start of Myers checked in. Getting ready for Miami. Brown is checked in for Botch. Miritich comes in for Lou Aldang. Winslow's checked in for Johnson. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Goran Dragic. And now we have a chance to check out Freak here. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. He's putting up 31 points per, almost seven rebounds. And he leads the way for them in the scoring department. Always looking for a crease in the defense, poking, prodding, and manufacturing points. There's a minute 34 left in the third. A nice shot by Winslow. And the Heat lead by four. And that's just a great individual play right through the teeth of the defense. To the inside, Williams. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Miami. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. It's been a hot shooting night for them, too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. Now here's Lynn. He has six. Winslow's shot is off. Yeah, and listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. Pick by Williams. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Pondexter. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. The Heat have shot six or seven at the line. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. New York moving the ball around. There's a screen by Williams. Pond Dexter. Miami grabs the miss. Brown's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Dishes it to Miritic. Outside, Lynn. The screen from Brown. And they call an illegal screen here. I tell you what, they've got a nice reservation for him over on the bench. If he keeps this up, fourth turnover already. We've got 13 seconds left here in the third quarter. Green with the ball. With one on the clock. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful jam. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. New York leading by four. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. We've got Booker. Anthony out there with Porzingis. Then there's a follow. And it's Roten in at the one. Porzingis. Booker, the pass will fly to Now, here's Roden. He's guarded by Dragic. Roden kicks to Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Booker's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Knicks. The Heat shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Brown kicks to Dragic. Back to Brown. Five to shoot. Bosh, no one around him. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists now in this one. Just a great, great battle these two teams are waging here today. Boy, it sure is, and I'm getting the sense that this game could end up being decided by just one or two plays down the stretch. Kept alive for Zingas, and it's blocked by Brown. Dang, this is to Dragic. It's Brown on the wing. Back to Dragic. It's Brown on the wing. 
It's blocked. But they recover it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hi, Kevin. Derek Fisher was just going over the plan with his team. He told them, this is it, fellas. Let's hit them right out of this timeout. Put some pressure on them. Show them how much you want it. Let's go get it. Guys, he's really exhorting them to give them a burst of energy. That's it. That's it. Well, you talk about clutch plays defensively and offensively. We saw both right there. And the gap's narrowing right now, Clark. Every second from here on out counts. Neither team can afford to make mistakes. You've got to manage the clock and play smart. Here's Anthony following the basket by Freak. No good from Booker. Feeds it to Johnson. He kicks it to Dang. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Knicks? They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Here's a follow, and it's blocked by Brown. Out of bounds, Knicks ball as New York Knicks keeps ball. possession of it. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Porzingis passes to Roten. Offensive rebound, Booker. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. They had a number of cracks in it, but came away empty-handed. Upside, Brown. Lock at six. Back to Dragic. Here's Bosch. That's it, coming off an assist from Dragic. And that's 11 points for Chris Bosch. Big time bucket there, and you can expect to see him stay very involved the rest of the way. Roten with it, now guarded by Dragic. Here's Booker. Good for basket number six for him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. And you're starting to see some tired legs on those defenders as we come down the stretch here, Clark. Three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Left side, Brown. And a big time jam right there. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. In the first half, he was able to get to the line a little bit more. Let's see if he can pick it up here. Winslow's checked in for the Heat. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Aaron Aflalo. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might well tell the story in this one. And that should tilt things their way. No doubt they've been winning on the back one. Here's Green. Get some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. This game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Now, here's Brown. And here's Winslow. He hits Brown with the drive, takes it up with both hands, and rips it down. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Man, I think he's sensing that this is a critical time in the game, fellas.
Anthony up on top. He feeds it to Roten. Pass it to Persingas. He dishes it to Booker. From about 19 feet, Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got four rebounds in this game. Bogic kicks to Brown. Outside Bosch. It's stolen. Here's Roten. Now the feed to Anthony. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. Brown right side. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. It's really an extraordinary game for Brown. 11 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. He's doing all the things you can ask of a player in the low post. Definitely gets the blocks, the rebounds. You name it, he's done. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Here's Rote. Pass to Persingas. Kicks to Roten. There's a screen. Six on the shot clock. New York needs to get off a shot. Now, here's Dragic. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Now with the lead, I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Green against Johnson. Green kicks to Anthony. Down low. Here's Booker. He nails it. And we're tied up. Excellent execution of the plan there. Here's Brown. It's good! Buries the game-winning shot! Oh! And he wins it at the buzzer! <laughs> wow, what a finish. What a remarkable way to close it out. Game time! And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. What a show they put on here at home tonight. Tremendous work all the way down to the wire. You were just wondering what would happen next. Major drama. We saw good. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris. Hey, boy. Let it play. Hey. Yes, Scott. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was one of those performances capped off with a game-winning shot that we'll be seeing on the highlights for quite a while. What'd you notice about his performance, Kenny? I know Freak's going to have a lot of people back home in Harlem extremely proud of the way he played tonight. And they should be proud of him because his play was genius. Just a textbook example of how to gain a mental edge and continue to exploit it. Well, his ability to get into the paint, get to the rim was deadly. For a guy who's mainly a perimeter shooter, it was remarkable how many of his points came right at the bucket. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.